Good morning, listener. This is Primal's Radio and the program The Gladiators. This is Legend Ajayi. Our gladiator for the week is Chief Moshud Kashimau Olawali Abiola. He was born on 24th August 1937 to the parents. Mr. Salau and Mrs. Suliat Wuraula Abiola. They were both farmers. Mr. Salau was a cuckoo farmer, while Mrs. Wuraula Suliat Abiola was a Kula North trader. Prior to the birth of Abiola, 22 children had died at infancy. This sheds light on the reason Kashimao, which literally means make me steal the wait for her, or make me steal the watch out in a Nigerian lingo, or more appropriately, let us be hopeful as regards its chances of survival. As regards the school and education, he attended Baptist Boys High School in Ogun State and because Hazelia mentioned was from a humble background, he founded a musical band to perform at parties in order to raise money to support his high school education and family. As it is often said, fortune favors the brave and well-planned industriousness pays. He got a scholarship to study at the University of Glasgow, Scotland, and begged, bagged a degree in accounting. He didn't rest on his oars. He became a chartered accountant in the Institute of Accountants of Scotland with a distinction. His work experience was a bank clerk at Barclays Bank Ibarra was the executive accountant or account officer rather at Western Region Finance Corporation, senior accountant at the University of Lagos Teaching Hospital, chairman of G15 Business Council, one time president of the Nigeria Stock Exchange, trustee of the Martin Luther King Foundation, director of the International Press Institute, just to mention a few. As far as philanthropical gestures, he built 63 secondary schools, he built 121 mosques and churches, he built 41 libraries, constructed 21 water projects in about 22, 24 states in Nigeria. He is said to have sent over 2,500 students through the university system. That is quite phenomenal compared to what we have on ground, those who have money and all that, and can do just a percentage of what he did. As regards his business and prices, he founded Abiola Farms, Abiola Bookshops, Radio Communications in Nigeria. He also uh, delved into food, wonder bakeries, and as regards media and journalism, Concord Press, transportation, Concord Airlines. He also uh, was involved in Summit All International, African, African Ocean Lines, and as regards sport, Abiola Football Club, who, uh, the club we normally call today uh, Abiola Babes. And as regards his family, Chief Moshud Kashima Olawali Abiola had four legally married wives, according to his faith, you know, Islam, male alone. And he was actually able to cater for the whole of them. His wives, Simbiat Atinuke Shuaga, Kudarat Olayinka Abiola, Adebisi Olawumi Oshin, and uh, the fourth but not least, Donisola Abiola. Abauba. And um, spectacularly, Chivabiola is said to have fathered 
over forty children. Forty. Some of who are Afsat Abiola, Kola Abiola, Dusi Abiola, Abdumumini Abiola, Risola Abiola. Just to mention a few. He actually, on arguably, fulfilled one of God's commands. You know what I'm trying to say? Go ye into the world and multiply. One of his wives, however, Kudera Abiola, was assassinated in 1996 in the city of Lagos in Nigeria. As regards politics, at age 19, he was a member and a youth leader of NCNC, that is National Council of Nigeria and the Cameroons. In 1992, he challenged the United States and several European nations, demanding reparations for their enslavement of African people and the recompense for the fortunes made in harvesting Africa's raw materials. We got nothing actually in exchange for so many things. The African, the the, the Europeans, the United States, the whites got. From African soil. On June 12, 1993, he won as the presidential candidate of SDP, that is Social Democratic Party, against NRC's candidate Bashir Tofa. NRC actually means National Republican Convention. I was still very young then, but I was very much aware of everything that happened i can still remember the song uh, uh, aviola aviola something like that can give me a tire for life oh, my brother everything my sister something like that then the june 12 1993 presidential election remains the only election in nigeria largely devoid of religious or ethnic bias because the result showed that people wanted Chief Moshud Kashimau Olawali Abiola all over the country. The election has been described as the freest and fairest in Nigeria. However, General Ibrahim Babangida Baramoshi, popularly known as Maradona, had an entirely different plan. He annulled the election for no just reason and installed in a Shunekon as the head of an interim government. General Sonia Bacher, through a coup, took over governance, imprisoned Chief Moshud Abiola because he declared himself the winner of the election. He actually won. On June, on July 7, 1998, after Abiola had been imprisoned for four years, he died. We should also remember the fact that his wife was murdered in the city of Lagos, Kudirat Abiola. While some people believe that Abiola died of heart attack, some others, like his friend, Professor Wally Shinka, are of the opinion that he was poisoned. In recognition of his efforts and his roles in the struggle towards having a really democratic Nigeria, June 12, in 2019 and henceforth was declared as Nigeria's Democracy Day. He got so many awards for his exemplary roles in different endeavors, sports, media, transportation, economy, and just to mention a few. Chief Moshud Abiola Olawali Ab got over 197 traditional titles, among which is the fourteenth Are on a Khan country of the Yoruba land. It was also conferred with title GCFR, or we popularly know as Grand Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic. So far so good with the few things I have mentioned about Chief Kashimau Moshud Abiola. We will all agree that he was and remains a political gladiator on our mind as regards the politics of Nigeria. I will end this week's show with one of Chief Moshud Kashimau Olawali Abiola's quotes. Only real democracy can move our nation forward towards progress and earn her the respect she deserves from the international community. I'll take that one more time. Only real democracy 
can move our nation forward towards progress and earn our the respect she deserves from the international community. And from legend, each individual will be remembered for the role he or she plays as regards the progress or the retrogression of humanity. Once more, I am Legend Ajayi for Primos Media. For more information, you can follow us on our social media platforms at Primos City on Facebook and on Instagram. You can also listen to us via this link, beat.ly forward slash Primos Radio. Once more, this is Legend. Thanks for listening. This is a production of Primus Radio.